do you always struggle with shoulder pain every time you reach your arm up? If you do, I'm gonna go over a quick simple self-assessment and a self-treatment to get rid of that pain. Hi, this is Dr. Michael Lee from Seattle teaching you how to move better to feel better. So shoulder pain, especially when you feel the shoulder pain in the front of the shoulder every time you raise up, that has something to do with shoulder impingement. And most shoulder impingement happens when the shoulder blade and the arm bone cannot work together on a very good sequence. So the following exercise I'm gonna show you is to teach you how to restore that. Now, before we go on, I'm gonna show you a self-assessment. So let's get right into it. This self-assessment is very simple. It's to challenge basically your rotated cuff right here and the joint right here called AC joint. So it's very simple. You simply reach across with your other hand, keep your palm on the opposite shoulder and raise your elbow up as high as you can. A normal reaction is you shouldn't feel much of anything. Uh, but if you do feel the same pain that you have experienced in the shoulder, especially that same pain when you reach your arm up, that's a positive sign to show you like, hmm, you may have to come get some impingement going on. And the following, I'm gonna show you what to do about it. This is the corrective exercise to train your shoulder blade to glide better with the arm to decrease that impingement in the front of your shoulders. Now, the, I'm gonna show you the, what the exercise looks like, and then we're gonna break down the details of it. Let's get into it. You're gonna be on your hands and knees, toes tucked underneath you, and get into what we call the quadruped position. And the motion will be forward and backward, forward and backward, with the uh, progressions of you pushing back like a downward dog. So that's the motion. So let's break down each part of it. So in the clinic, I actually tell my patients when they get into this quadruped position is to push the ground away and get long in the neck. That help you set up the good proper shoulder blade and the overall posture to allow the shoulder blade to guide properly. Second, we always wanna have a strong core to support that rib cage, because after all, the rib cage aligns with the pelvis and this alignment is important to drive the rib cage position. Again, bad rib cage positions leads to bad shoulder blade position, bad shoulder blade position leads to bad arm position. So that's the detail. Setup is important. So once you get into that position, you want to really push yourself away from the ground or think about you trying to push the mat away. As you do this, you want to feel the shoulder blade glide forward and up that way. This is part of us trying to teach the shoulder blade how to glide. We call protractions, and we're gonna break down a little more detail in the next video, but think about protract meaning going forward and out. So you should feel the shoulder blade gliding outward around the rib cage. And as you do this, remember, keep tension in the core Keep pressing onto the ground and out. And as always, you should not feel any regressions of your pain. If you do, stop, message us. So, gonna keep going back and forth. I cannot emphasize enough, hold tensions here. It may look simple, but if you do it right, you should feel a tremendous engagement all the way from your hand to your shoulder and to your core. Of course, after you do this, we usually recommend a reassessment. So after about 10 reps, just try to do this motions or two of those motions again to test if that helps calm down or desensitize your pain in the shoulder. Now, once you're able to do about four to five sets of 10 and the shoulder pain is feeling better and better, then you can move on to the next progression. Pretty much is the downward dog. Now, the same principles applies here. Get nice and tall. Maintain tension from the hands to the shoulders, to the shoulder blade and core. Then from here, stay tall in these positions. And again, same motion, push yourself back. We are not going for the hamstring stretch over here. Remember, yes, 
can we properly glide the shoulder blade out and forward? The key here is, which I see a lot in the clinic is, once patients get up here and as they press up, they start to lose the neck, basically posture here. So make sure you watch out for that. Back and forth, same thing for about 10 reps. Here's the thing we, we usually teach a lot in the clinic. It's a simple exercise, but if you understand why you're doing it, and in this case, having a proper core to support the rib cage to allow your shoulder blade to glide better, once you understand the why behind it, then you get to appreciate all the details behind the exercise as well, and how efficient an exercise like this can help with your shoulder pain while taking care of other movement deficiency that you will see you know in the core in your neck and overall postures so i hope you find this video helpful so if you do we always appreciate if you can give it a like and share it with your friend so until next time keep moving better and feel better